Hey, Audacious Church, how are you doing today? My name is Rafaro. I am the young adult and student pastor in our Manchester campus, predominantly based in Central, but uh, North and South, we love you guys too as well, and I'll hopefully see you very soon. Uh, without further ado, I want to jump into today's devotion. I'm going to be reading today from 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9 to 10. So it starts off with Jesus speaking, and then it switches to the Apostle Paul. So this is Jesus now. He says that my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your weakness. And then switches to the Apostle Paul, who in light of this says these words, that therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why for Christ's sake, I will delight in my weaknesses, in insults, in hardship, in persecution, and in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am made strong. God, I want to thank you for the opportunity to share the word of God today. I pray that you would minister to everybody who is tuning in right now, whenever, wherever they are watching this devotional. I pray that your words would be transferred from either the voice out of my mouth, the words on people's screens, but into their hearts and ultimately bring life and transformation. Thank you. Amen. All right. So I want to ask you guys a question. Have you ever felt like you're not enough? Perhaps in your parenting, in your marriage, or as a friend, you might be like, gosh, to, to my children, I don't know if I'm, if I'm a good mother or a father. I don't know if I'm doing a good job. Am I overbearing? Am I not enough? Um, or as a spouse, you're like, oh, should I be doing more? Should I be giving more? Maybe you, as a friend, you just feel like you're, you're not there enough for your friends. For whatever reason, you feel like you're not enough. Or maybe it's a feeling of inadequacy in terms of the position that you you have, a role that you've kind of just undertaken and you're like almost a bit of imposter syndrome, like, oh my goodness, um, this role is a bit bigger than I am or a lot of people expecting a lot of me and you just like, gosh, I don't know what to do almost. And you know, that can be quite crippling. Um, this might also be the case in your relationship with God or your walk with Christ in that you feel like no matter what you try, you just don't seem to quite get things right and you've tried this and you've tried that and this thing isn't working or that thing isn't working and it's it's frustration and you know the feeling of inadequacy isn't uncommon we all feel it so you know take a breath first of all we all we all go through that from time to time however if we allow this these feelings of inadequacy to go unchecked they can actually grow and what they grow into is fear and insecurity and fear and security, if that is allowed also to fester and to grow within us, it actually depletes us. It steals our joy, our peace, and ultimately God's perspective in, in our lives. And, you know, like I said, it's, it's not uncommon, but there is some truth there. It, it probably is true that a part of you um, has fallen short or will fail either as a spouse, a friend, or in your job. Because we're, we're human, we're not perfect. But I, I find comfort that Jesus Christ is there. That it's not all up to me, that by his grace, that we are not left to our own devices. That where I am not enough, I thank God that he is more than enough. In fact, some homework for you today, even though we're not yet at the end of the devotion, is to go in to listen to one of the audacious worship songs released a couple of years ago. It's called More Than Enough. I'm sure you can find that on Spotify, Apple Music, or Amazon Prime, wherever you get your music from. Uh, more than enough, it is a fantastic song. And you just minister that, over, minister that over yourself, sing that over yourself, and know that even though you are not enough, thank God that Jesus Christ is enough. And that where you fall short, his grace suffices, that his power is enough for you. So this verse really is teaching us that it is that it is in our weakness it is the power of God that is at work through us in our weaknesses that, you know, we are, we are made whole, we are made full. So that is reason to be thank, thankful of God that we're not alone, that it is by his grace that we become the parents, the spouses, the friends, the employees, the leaders, perhaps, that we are supposed to be. And the thing about that, his, his grace is that it gives us confidence the confidence to walk in the authority, the confidence to walk in those positions and responsibilities that he has given to us. And it is all by his grace. So there are, there are three things that I think we ought to do in light of this. Number one, um, acknowledge. Acknowledge the fact that in some areas of your life, if you're not present at present, 
uh, one day you will be uh, inadequate. Acknowledge your weaknesses. I think it's important as opposed to trying to go in bullheaded and, you know, just charge every problem with your own might and strength. Actually recognize that, you know what, I'm not enough. I am inadequate. I am falling short. I am not enough for this thing. But then don't stay there. Come to point number two, which is um, bring them before God in prayer. So you have to say, okay, God, I give this to you. And I recognize that this is an area of my life where I'm in need of you and I'm surrendering it to you. That no longer is it going to be my strength that I'm asking for, for Jesus, which is step number three, invite Jesus in. Ask for his power to sustain you. Ask for his power to rest upon you. As the verse that we read at the beginning of this says, ask for his power to be the thing that empowers you. So number one, acknowledge your weakness. Number two, bring them before God in prayer. Number three, invite Jesus Christ into your situation. I believe that if we put this daily practice uh, in every day, we will be empowered uh, by the by Jesus Christ. And not only will the things that were once too big for us become doable, but it actually become our zone of operation. We actually become increased in our capacity and in our capability. And what, you know, maybe three, four months ago was a stretch for us is actually now where we're comfortable. And we know that the way that it is, there's going to be another increase and another increase. But we're now beginning to put the building blocks into place of like, right, it's not all up to me, but it's all up to Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for listening to me, guys. And as I prayed at the beginning of this, I pray that, you know, the word of God would minister to you today. And whatever you're feeling, whatever you're doing right now, I pray that you would know that even though you are not enough, you are made enough through he who is more than enough. God bless you, church. Have a great day.